Good morning everybody, DC here. It's the 21st of December 2019 and uh, I wish all my followers and subscribers uh, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, I think that I, I'm on the right track. Um, this, this coming year, 2020, um, I've got some ideas and they're really coming together, but it all revolves around the dielectric versus the magnetic. And um, as some of you will know, there's uh, a 90 degrees between the two, the dielectric and the magnetic. And um, there's no getting away from, from that. Um, what the, my methodology and thinking now has started down a path uh, of the Faraday paradox and that's opening up a whole new ball game for me. So if we uh, look at the earth for the moment, <laughs> this is supposed to be the, the earth with uh, like Saturn rings around it, um, there's a, a Van Allen belt which it's a high voltage uh, belt that goes around the, the earth and um, I'm using nature uh, to model some of my thinking and um, the earth and you've got Saturn and other uh, planets that have this ring that goes around it. I thought well why is that ring around it and um, then I've come on to the uh, Faraday par paradox and um, I've got some sketches here but perhaps before I, I get into the sketches I, I, we'll just go over to the to the bench I, I do apologize my bench is terrible it's in a mess look at it because I've been working frantically at this I can't stop it because I know I'm onto something here um, so what we've got today here and we'll go back to the drawings in a minute we've got some if I can find them you can never find them when you want them ah here we are uh, we've got some magnets they're out of a microwave, just ordinary magnets and donut magnets, north south. Uh, and I've, what I've done, I've made, I've made a machine to to support um, two rotating magnets with the poles opposite one another. So if we have a look here, we've got uh, two DC motors, and these motors will allow me to rotate this magnet the magnet's got a bearing here yeah but also this shaft you can rotate the shaft as well so this magnet will ro rotate by itself without the shaft rotating so it's free so and also it's the, the magnets are um, north south and then the poles are the same in 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 between aren't they so the but what I can do is I can rotate these in both directions or the same direction and um, basically that's the, the, the Faraday paradox. So I've been trying different methodologies of extracting um, power uh, you know, from this device but for whatever I do it's only very low voltage. I've got like a perspex sheet here with um, copper copper each side and uh, so the copper's glued to the perspex she sheeting. I've split the co copper up and tried to see if the, I could get any voltage off the different fins if you like and um, that's not worked <laughs> um, but I know I'm on the right track because if we now go to the to the, the drawing in simplistic terms these are your, your two donut magnets here, free to, to rotate in each direction. A blow up of this point here is two magnets, north, south, north, south. So what you've got going on in the middle is uh, you've got an, a, an attraction. So I've, got, I've had a job to keep them apart because they want to squash one another. But that's what's going on there. And there's what's called a blotch wall in between uh, in relation to the magnetic flux that's shown in the green here, <clears throat> uh, where the, um, the flux doesn't want to go past this wall. So uh, the, I've been learning a lot from Ken Wheeler on magnetism. And this might be, what I'm trying to say is, 
this is the point of interest where the two fields come together here. So I'm thinking these two fields, and I'll just perhaps step back a bit here, it, looking at, at this block, block wall, blotch wall, whatever, where the fields are highly, the magnetic fields are highly compressed at this point, very highly compressed. So if you can do something in here to these fields, you can, my theory is you can draw power from them. Not only can you draw power, but in the dielectric, I, I think you can make it a, a, for, a force and motion. So you can actually move stuff. And Tesla was working on this. And if you if you like to just note one thing, Tesla said when at a spark gap, it, it, the, when there was a spark, there was an event. And this is leading me on to all sorts of things here because in magnetic terms, we've got north and south, and then it's split with this wall. And you, in the between, you've got the two highly compressed magnetic forces. Uh, I think if we can do something at this point here, right where, right there, between the dielectric and the magnetic, we we could have endless power. So that's where my thinking's going at the moment. Uh, I know it's a little bit, okay, it's hard to explain, but it's the dielectric versus the magnetic. And I think I'm onto something here because when I've been playing with these, I've been getting all sorts of anomalies. I've been checking the, the amps, DC amps, and I've been checking the watts, and I've been checking the voltage here. And I've been getting some really silly readings, something that I can't explain. So this is where I'm at at the moment, folks. Um, we've got, the setup is, it's just a, a simple uh, framed, timber framed, with a, with a bearing and the, with two motors and two rotating donut magnets. That's it. Uh, perhaps I just want to just switch it on and show you running. Uh, just a second. I suppose I should have set this up before and really, but there we go. Um, right. Negative, negative. Uh, I'm having some real fun with this, I'm telling you. I've had to buy a, a new voltage meter and it's driving me crazy. But anyway, let's just, we're on about, we'll start on about um, three volts. I did, I did have some controllers, I got some little controllers here, the, the 5 amp, but I quickly blew them, <laughs> uh, so I'll try and slow it up now so you can perhaps see uh, that they got, what we got going, they're going different ways, let me see if I can just, I think you can see that the magnets are travelling in different directions. We'll speed it up a little bit. Now, one of the one of the big things that I've, I've, been, I've been experiencing here is that on my regulated power supply, I can't turn the voltage up anymore. It won't go up anymore. It's on at maximum. Yeah, and it's on at it's on 65. What? But I can't get them to spin any. I can't get the motors to spin faster unless I pull them off the magnet. So <laughs> we all know what that is. It's back EMF. But I'm having some fun with this. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, as I say, I've been trying different methods uh, of extracting power from here. Um, I've even put the uh, coil the Biflo or Bifra coil uh, in between, thinking that uh, that might produce something. But I think really, at the end of the day, we're stuck with a magnetic field flowing between the two, or 
the flow of magnetism between the two. That's where I'm at. Um, and from now on, that's where I'm fo focusing a lot of my energies, between the, the field between the two. So uh, to all those that are following me, we're not there yet, but it's a great journey. And I, I do sort of um, ask you to think about um, what's happening in the dielectric field. Because I think if we can do things at that point there, there's something going on. So that's it from me at the moment. It's The essence is dielectric versus magnetic at the moment. And that's where I'm at. A big thank you once again to all my followers. It's DC signing out. Bye-bye. And all the best. My best, very best wishes to everybody. Thank you.